hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another video and in this video we are going to talk about mono repo and this is not a new playlist or some kind of a new course it's not a new course what we are already talking about is we have already covered rest api microservices we have already covered uh, a simple graphql with apollo federation now there are a couple of more aspects of microservices i'm going to cover in the next years like next years microservices with the kafka or different transport mediums like Kafka, TCP or RabbitMQ and then we will also cover gRPC, tRPC and all. So for that I am going to use a monorepo. We are already using Larna in couple of projects. Now once I explore the NX, NX I have already used uh, last year but at that time I didn't pay much attention. Now when I see NX now it has a lot of features and which I wanted to explore and I wanted to use NX Mono repos more with these PNPM, NPM or these kind of workspace. So here we are going to talk about a Mono repo concept like why we need Mono repo. I already have a playlist on Larna which covers most of the aspects. Larna is also being managed by the same vendor and a lot of concepts of the Larna workspace is now similar to the NX. In this coming videos first we will explore the NX workspace and then we will just dive in to the microservices in the next JS. But for that we are going to use this project setup done by NX. NX uh, integration uh, repositories, integration monorepo or NX package based, based monorepo. There are two type of monorepo or we can also create a standalone and alone monorepo like okay I want to build just Angular app, Node.js app and React app standalone uh, app also can be created with the help of monorepo and we will also explore what all other options are providing like larna nx and turbo repo these are other vendors which are doing the same kind of solutions but in just a different ways and different features so our main focus will be on uh, how to work with nx what are the features and capabilities we can have while building the simple project with nx lot of different commands how we can just bootstrap a simple monorepo with NX for just a simple react project angular project node.js project or any project where uh, you want to have a integration packages which you also wanted to deploy and you want to have an integration like packages are interdependent on one another or just a simple decoupled applications which which is having their own package.json in different directories so integration based and the package based monorepo concept we are going to understand. So here uh, how you create a simple monorepo just create a simple command and this is npx create nx monorepo and it gives you multiple options like okay how what you want to create a package based monorepo or integrated monorepo integrated monorepo it is I mean you are you are not doing any configurations of individual packages most of the th things are done by NX okay and you are just uh, defining the interdependencies and a lot of things are happening automatically package based monorepo it helps you it helps you to build the packages or uh, the repo uh, the folders in your own way like in the lib and packages we have inside lib you can create a, uh, libraries and inside packages you can have your own project like react project angular project uh, vue.js project with their own package json dependencies standalone react app angular app and node.js app i will talk about uh, package based monorepo and here i will just put my org name or anything like that so you can also ask for i will talk about another option so there is another options we have is uh, integrated monorepos. So let's say here we, you can see these different options. An empty monorepo or a TypeScript based monorepo or you can also create a simple Nest.js monorepo. And it is integrated means we are building some kind of a packages here. So repository name is let's say TK Sharma Nest.js demo. And it will create a simple monorepo and it is enabled with the Nest.js. Because here you, what we selected is 
what uh, what to create in the new workspace nessjs react just a simple typescript project angular node all these options are available so when you select a nessjs it will give you this kind of monorepo setup here you can see i got a lib i got the apps folder and by default it has created a simple nest microservices and nestjs microservices end to end tests and if you look into the configurations so this is integrated right so if you look into these uh, pack apps you won't see a uh, package json having much information like you don't have a individual package dependencies defined inside these package json of both the projects these are the targets like e to e lint similarly there will be a uh, targets defined here inside this project json which is build serve lint tests and all and we can execute these individual commands also from the nx npx nx uh, and just specify the which project in which you wanted to execute which command those all those things we are going to look into so let's say first we will create a integrated a mono repo then packaged based mono repo and then standalone apps also we will create and we will explore and then with a couple of after a couple of videos we will do the, the live demos of uh, nest js microservices where we are building the microservices in just a one single nx mono repo i mean a lot of big enterprise are having a single mono repo for maintaining their whole projects like google or maybe a couple of more enterprises i don't know the name but you can manage your whole repositories ecosystems in a single mono repo like nx or any other mono repo you have like google has this bagel so similarly other enterprise also have their own solutions microsoft might be using something else but this nx is popular and this turbo repo is also something new but we will explore only nx lana we have already covered in earlier videos now nx is more powerful or more feature rich at enterprise level because it provides a lot of features if we compare it with the turbo first we will focus on the nx how to build a simple examples and how to do this nest js microservices stuff with the help of nx package based or integrated mono repos so let's get started this is just an introductory video what i'm going to cover in coming videos and then we will dive into the microservices we i want to finish these microservices as soon as possible so we can switch to a brand new topic